All right, so for today what we're going to do is we're moving on to lesson 22. Make sure you put your first and last name. Hour, whatever hour you're in, and lesson 22. Okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our hands-on equations app. You're going to notice that we're getting to the end of our app. Um, we're on lesson 22. We got 23 and 24. Uh, and then a review lesson, and then we're done with hands-on equations and we go to the regular algebra textbook, okay? So let's take a look at the first example. It's two parentheses, 2x minus 4 plus star equals 2 plus 2 star. And I'm going to write this on my app. Okay, so as I'm doing this, the first thing I need to do is, yes, distribute. we're going to distribute. Now, it's a little bit different than before. Remember before we had two packages, and we're going to start straying away from that and just do the distributive property. Now, you can kind of do the packages in your head if you want to. Um, two out front means there's two packages of 2x minus 4. So 2 times 2x is? 4x, okay, and then the sign in between is a minus, so I'm going to bring that down, and then 2 times 4 is 8, okay, so I'm expecting you to do that now, we're not doing packages anymore, we've kind of straight from that, and I'm going to write down the other stuff, okay, now what do you want to do? Um, I can chop sheet. Don't have to, but you can. Now, what do you want to do? Let's take care of our numbers first. What do you guys want to do? Let's yeah. Add eight. Yes. Let's add eight. Please follow along. There's a couple of you. You're going way ahead, and then you do it wrong, and then you get mad at me because. You're not paying attention, so let's make sure we pay attention. These cancel, so I end up with 4x plus star equals what? 10 plus 2, oh, what is 10 fun? Uh, 2 star. Okay, what do I want to get rid of? My 2 star, how am I going to do that? You want to add 2x. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so 6x plus star equals 10 plus 2x plus 2 star. And then we're going to what? Yep, we're going to explode those 2x minus 2 star because they're on the same side. So 6x plus star equals 10. Okay, now what? Yep, I'll take away x, take away star. I have 5x equals 10, and then I divide by 5. Make sure you do it on both sides. And I got x equals 2, star equals negative 2. Do I have to do star? Why do I have to do star? Because I have star in the problem. Yep, excellent. Okay, now, when you do your check, Make sure that your checks look like the original problem. I have a couple of kids, you're not doing that. You're changing the equation and you're checking it in the wrong equation. We're going to use the original equation, that one right there. Okay, so I've got 
2 parentheses, 2x two minus 4 parentheses, plus star equals 2 plus 2 star. Okay, and I'm going to take out my x and I'm going to put in a 2. Notice how this is starting to get layered, starting to get more complicated. That's real easy to make a mistake if you can't read your handwriting. All right, now, when you do this, order of operations says you're going to work inside the parentheses, kind of like a donut, okay? So we are going to focus on this part of the equation, right? There, right? And order of operations is I'm going to do my two times two, one step at a time, okay? So I'm going to put my four, and then minus four. Okay. Bring my two up front and I can write everything else down. On the right hand side, if you want to go ahead and multiply those, go ahead and do that. Okay. Alright, now I'm still working inside the parentheses. I'm still working inside there. So what's 4 minus 4? It's 0. Now, last hour when I was talking to the kids, do I really need to put that down? The answer is yes. And the reason why is 0 is a number. It's a number. It wants its time to shine. Just because it's a 0, you don't throw it away. Make sure that you show that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do the other side. I get negative 2. I'm going to multiply, so I get a 0. I get negative 2 equals negative 2. That's going to work. Are there questions on this? It's kind of loaded, and when you make one little mistake, it can rock your boat. So you want to make sure you do one step at a time. All right, let's move on. We're going to do example C. So if I go back to my hands-on equations app, here we go. Three, and then you'll notice that little weird symbol. That's called a bracket. Um, what they do is they'll use a bracket when you've got parentheses inside the bracket. So rather than doing like parentheses, parentheses, they'll put a bracket there. Okay? So make sure that you use a bracket. Make sure it's got those hooks on the top and the bottom. Otherwise, it's an absolute value and it does mean something different. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my app. Again, I got my bracket. Okay. What do we want to do first? Yes. Before I add anything, I'm going to distribute. So three times x. There's a little one in front of it. What do I get? 3x. Okay, and then I've got this sign in between, so I'm going to drop that down and make it a plus. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then I just copy down all the other stuff. Okay, so now that I did that, I can go ahead and do my numbers. You had mentioned adding 6. I love that idea. So I'm going to add 6 to each side, 3x, those cancel, a star equals 3x plus, now what's negative 4 plus 6? It's positive 2, because the 2 is bigger than the negative number. 
Okay? Now what do you guys want to do? Yeah, so I'm going to subtract my 3x from each side. I end up with star equaling 2 and x equaling negative 2. Don't go too fast. I have some kids, they're just like speed demons, and then we've got problems because we're losing signs all over the place. We don't want to do that. Okay, I've got my check, and again, I'm going to use my original problem. Thank you. 